right? So, so welcome everybody. Yeah. Go ahead, Felix. Yeah. No, no, sorry, sorry. Please go ahead. I was just, I was just saying, welcome, small group uh, again today. Um, everyone has access to the agenda here. Let me move this Zoom bar out of the way. Um, of course, we can add things, but it looks like we're going to have a, a little update on tables to divs. Felix is going to update up on some jQuery work, and then I have some icons to run by the group as well. Um, you want to dig in there, Felix? Yeah, if you can. Um, so tables to divs, uh, I'm just putting something because uh, reacting to all uh, for context, the PR is ready, or um, the, cons the general consensus is that the PR is ready. And Oleg put a comment on the PR saying if that would be merged or if it would make LTS. And Tim here answered if he uh, we would discuss it. And here is the discussion. So for what is worth, I think it should still be merged after the 21st. New LTS uh, on our LTS cycle because I think it's too late. Uh, I, I, it would be fine for me to just set right now a hard date for merging those. I mean, I'd be fine with that personally. I'm not super involved on this one, but I agree that it's a little bit rushed to get it in the current cycle. So I, I'd be fine with that if there's no objections. Yeah. What do you think, everybody? Especially Tim, because you're the one who has done the most work after as of late. Yeah, um, so, so there are some plugins that are still broken, um, it's whether we care or not. Um, so the artifact three and bot plugins are the two that I know of that are broken. Um, artifact three one is just a nightmare. I think we're probably just going to leave it to JFrog. It's a huge plugin and uh, they're very slow to review and they suddenly come back with an issue and then you fix it and then you wait three weeks um, and you don't have any time to work on it anymore. Um, and plot plugins, just weird UI and pulls yep. the table from somewhere and it's hard to track down where it's coming from. Uh, there's also not with CMs, but that's a deprecated plugin. So I think we can just ignore that one. So, um, yeah, so. Yeah. So that, those are the only issues that I'm aware of. Everything else works fine. What was that first one, Tim? Uh, so Artifactory plugin, Plot plugin. Okay. Good. What do you all think in terms of a, a date, what seems like a, a responsible uh, moment or, or roughly a week or so to, to merge? I think we just merge it, merge after the LTS cycle if there's Okay. Objections with those plugins. Um, okay, it's going to be a good day. Yeah, that's a big change, a uh, huge improvement, though. So I'm, yeah. I'm happy to see that being merged already. I just keep thinking on the follow up PRs that we have here. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. Bet. Yeah. I think we've had a few follow up PRs with, because we merged it incrementally. Um, yeah. I think that was a success, though. I, I really think it was a good idea to have the JavaScript and CSS ready. Yeah. I'm not sure if word exchange will still be needed if we merge it. Um, don't think so. Yeah. So probably there's no, no need to. Do. Or maybe. I don't know. But I don't, I'm not sure about his change. So, For context, this is a PR from Badek that fixes uh, that he there is a problem on the current Jenkins mainline but with the help area. That is uh, on the description list. The help area is showing a weighted position. So maybe it's fixed once it's merged. And it's not a okay. regression, so it will not be backported. So maybe it's not needed as PR. That's what we are talking about. I, I will try to dig up the name. The, well, it's a PR. Uh, yeah, I will dig up the, the number of the PR just to and put it on the minutes. OK. Um, all right, uh, uh, Felix, would you also be willing to, to write back on the um, table to divs main PR there so everyone's on the same page about intent to merge right after the sprint cycle? Yeah, no, I, it's everybody, it's already there, it's the consensus. 
it's okay. It's, That's that was my impression as well. Cool. Yeah. So I also wanted to give an update of uh, some uh, introduce some work we uh, we are doing with jQuery in Cloudis and why we will have a bit of reduced velocity of um, actual development work for UI stuff. Um, so in Cloudis we are focusing at the moment on upgraded jQuery and the dependency of jQuery across the many plugins uh, because most of them use really outdated versions and insecure versions. So it's important project for Cloudbees, the upgrading on this plugin is pretty important for Cloudbees. And it's also part of UI modernization, even though it's not visual. So we expect it to take around a month. Uh, I have already already created a PR against uh, Jenkins Core, which is waiting for until next year. I'm working on, for example, tomorrow I will try to update it on Pipeline Stage View plugin. The which one? Uh, Pipeline stage view plugin, also yeah. work, workflow CPS, uh, some plugins. So w w there are not many of them, but we are focusing on that right now. And for example, we will not be able to work on iconography until that's done. And of course we will keep involved on the SIG. Joe has been doing amazing work on iconography and he will keep doing, and I will also be on top of the community PRs and everything, table studies merging. It's just that the actual I will not be able to focus on iconography, for example, on the next month, maybe. Yeah. But we will have nice, nice versions of jQuery or better, or more secure code. Or, or, or remove jQuery in some places. Or remove jQuery. And I am also going to take the chance to remove JS Builder in many projects, which I think it's also more, even more important, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are, you, are you touching Blue Ocean as part of your change or not? Um, Blue Ocean did use a version of jQuery to touch. It had it on the POM. It's, it, wasn't, it wasn't using it. Uh, so I have created a PR against Blue Ocean for that. It shouldn't have an impact at all. Um, by the way, regarding Blue Ocean, I was taking a look at Cliff Myers' PR uh, point uh, proof of concept. Uh, for the pipeline visualization, uh, new pipeline, and it looks good, but needs more backend work. Mm, yeah, this, this is a bit of topic. Oh. So. Okay. Well, thanks for the update, Felix. Um, yeah, we'll continue to be involved, but as far as pushing changes out, it will have a slightly reduced velocity for sure. Um. Cool, I think that brings to the next item. Uh, Felix, maybe you could jot some notes on this one. Yeah. Had some uh, awesome, had some quick icon update proposals here. Um, I'll share these in Gitter as well right after this call, uh, since we do have a small group here. Um, and what I, what I mean by icon proposals is, is just uh, trying to find, uh, par <clears throat> excuse me, parity where possible between material design icons um, because they're easy to integrate and the classic Jenkins icons and updating some there, but then also creating some custom solutions where necessary. And in this case, also leveraging some, some icons from the Neo theme um, where applicable or where beneficial. So we'll look at those. And uh, just to, to clarify that these would be three distinct sort of phases in, in icon improvements, right? This, this would not all be one PR. Um, this would be a gradual thing. Um, so some, some general icon replacements. And of course, there's a lot more uh, icons, even just within Manage Jenkins page, for example, um, that would need consideration here. But we're trying to be as resourceful as possible using material. Uh, we all know materials. Uh, widely used and widely recognized around the world. And so has a lot of um, um, familiarity that we can kind of leverage there. But a lot of these icons may also have distinct meanings in like an Android um, environment that could be confusing here. So so there's a give and take. I imagine more of these will need to be custom than than we are realizing. But But here are some proposals for how we could map a few of these common ones. And we can come back to this in just a sec. Um, I'll run through the two more two more screens here, and we can talk about them. Uh, for our build status indicators, I'm not sure if you can see my little video here, the Zoom UI. So let me know if that's in the way. 
Um, uh, there, there is not really a, a good uh, parity for what material design offers here. And we have some issues uh, in the current icon selection uh, where a lot of these colors are, are very close to one another. We have like the light gray, we have a darker gray, we have a, a deeper gray even than that, uh, which present a lot of visual contrast issues. Uh, the blinking uh, in and of itself for builds that are in progress uh, can be problematic for some users uh, depending on the tech they're using to, to look at, at their, at their uh, Jenkins instance, uh, that creates a lot of issues if, if colors are not configured the same way that they're being configured for developers contributing to Jenkins. And I think you get what I'm saying. These could, these could use some more love, um, certainly. So what I tried to do here was create some solutions that uh, feature um, a little bit more intuitive color selection, a little bit more diverse color selection, and then also uh, some pictograms inside of these uh, circular shapes, a consistent circular shape across the group. Uh, some pictograms to kind of represent in case color is, is, is a real problem for a particular user. And they have another indicator there beyond color. Um, and so these of course are, are from scratch. These are not from material or anything like that. And so these would be a different implementation process, but we would we'd merge them in separately. And I think we need a lot of feedback on these icons, but. I'd love to hear y'all's feedback in this call too. Um, we'll jump right back to those. The last oh, one was- Yeah, also uh, something that yeah. you may have forgotten to mention is that blinking, having the icons, the blinking icons that not very accessible. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you were also exploring a different animation, for example, rotation to, to show that something is in progress, rotate the icon. Yeah, uh, I think there's- I think there's potential there. So something uh, as simple as this, right? This mm -hmm. is a, a rudimentary mock-up, but just having it rotate in place rather than than blinking visible and, and non-visible again, as you say, Felix, would be a big improvement there. I like that. Um, and then the last bit was uh, for these, these health indicators, these weather icons, uh, these icons come from the Neo theme, uh, fairly popular, of course. Um, so the idea here being we're just sort of modernizing uh, across the board and being resourceful where we can. So these are proposed um, changes for these. Um, uh, it's actually, it's actually, sorry, Joe. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I hear I told Joe it, it, uh, wrong. So uh, it's my fault. It's not, they are not from Neo theme, Neo 2 theme. They are using oh. Neo2 Theme. Uh, they are they are in a package called Jenkins Contrib Themes, so they are already in the Jenkins CI organization. So yeah, oh, okay. my fault. I I didn't explain myself properly. I will try to. No put worries. A, yeah. I will put a, um, a link on the minutes to the cool. To the cool. Thank you for clarifying. Um, all right. So so that's three three pages. Um. Do you all want to dig into any of these? Do you have any gut reactions or, or strong feedback about these at this point? Um, there's a lot here. And icons are a big topic. What do you yeah. all think? The funniest looking one to me was the lockable resources one. On the was the, sorry, which one? Uh, lockable resources on the first page. Yeah, uh, that, that uh, padlock shape that could be misconstrued for a lot of things, yeah. I think that's a good point. I don't know what you'd put, but I'm not sure if it's really <laughs> appropriate for what it does. Yeah. Obviously the first one, the first one was not appropriate either. <laughs> like, right. Was... I, I think the thing, the thing about trying to be resourceful with something like material is of course, these were all designed for very different ecosystems and carry different meetings as a result. So I think that's a good point. That would be one where I would probably uh, try to create something in the same style as these material icons, but that is more appropriate. Mm. Yeah, it would be good. Um, I, mean, I, I do think this is a huge improvement of, over the existing ones. So that is clear. And the, the modernization there is, is clear as well. But yeah, some mm -hmm. of them are tricky. Uh, I, I do like this particular page. I, maybe the lockable resources or steam pointed. It's, it's, it's one of the more difficult to find the equivalent to. 
Uh, the other screen on the on the build uh, statuses that's that's a bit tricky because there are lots of things to uh, lots of states to represent. So I, I would try to give that thought. Um, I, I, I do like the rotation for that, that you just mentioned for the uh, the things that are in progress. Uh, but the others, I, I will try to give it a thought, and and if I come up with some ideas, I will let you know. Sure. Yeah, definitely open, very open to feedback here because it's a very constrained small space here. Each of these shapes inside of these circles carries a lot of meaning and that's right. different to different users. So I'm going to post this in Gitter and do take your time and, and you know, whatever feedback you have would be very welcome for sure. Uh, and I think Oleg, you just hopped in. We were taking a look. Oh, we have a, someone else as well. But Zoom is not showing me your name, I'm sorry. Um, we have a couple of new people who have popped in and uh, we were just taking a look at some proposals for, for icon uh, swaps. So we switch to the green icon. Sorry? So we switch to the green icon for successful build, right? No switches yet, no. This is just a, just a pitch. Um, I think there's... I think my blue balls are going. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a lot more um, connotation with green as a color um, that we could do there. And then that gives us the chance to kind of leverage the Jenkins blue um, in, in a different place rather than having so many grays in this particular yeah. set. Oh, using uh, new icon sets would be a good improvement. I'm sorry, yeah. like my. Audio is back. Can you say that again? Yeah, having uh, a new icon set would be a good improvement, though it uh, makes uh, interesting to create a retro Jenkins uh, theme. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I think that uh, changing uh, the defaults would be quite reasonable. Cool. Our least volunteering to make a classic Jenkins theme. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And uh, also that I, something I would like to mention. Um, yeah, the blue balls, I think they have a cultural connotation due to the Vasquez um, culture, right? I think it, because of, uh, something I read about that. Yeah, it's a Japanese thing. Well, I mean, that's, that's what pull, pull review, uh, that's what, reviews, what the reviews are for. So something I, I definitely wanted to mention about this is that the reason that these are separated into three different uh, blocks, it's something I suggested to you, is because I think the implementation should also be separated. Uh, replacing the general icons is going to be tough. There are a lot of them, lots of possible mappings. Here you're saying, here what you mentioned before, the lockable resources. I did have some trouble. I tried to go through many items, try to find pairings. There are many variations of notebooks with smaller icons across the Jenkins interface. So this yeah. is definitely hard. And I think we could and should focus, maybe split the work. And maybe it's up to the community to just, some, if somebody wants to take and just change the weather icons, it can be done. And the same with the build status indicators because it's, it's maybe much easier to focus on just changing these five icons than trying to find which have a clear mapping to an existing icon than trying to innovate and make the whole list and be sure we cover each and, each and every use case for the general icon replacement. I, mean, I think the starting point is just to do like a few because then you introduce the mechanism for doing it um, because this is changing from, from PNGs to SVG, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So we just I have, to, a, I have a PR for this. I, I have a PR that could serve as a blueprint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you have a PR, it would be good just to change a couple of them and then the rest of them can come. Yeah. Well, common icons um, are a big problem. We usually use them in three sizes up to 48 to 48 pixels. Mm -hmm. uh, there is still artwork which uses uh, bigger resolutions. So for the, it might require additional work, but for icons which are actually used as icons, it should be quite straightforward. Oh, yes. 
-hmm. So you mean that some icons are used, for example, in a headline of a page yeah. right next to the title? Yeah, gotcha. right. So for yeah. example, uh, yeah, there is a new item page which uses uh, relatively high resolution icons. There is also a ticket for actually uh, replacing uh, words describing job types by icons. And yeah, these ones are quite big. So at the same time, uh, there is no need to replace them immediately because uh, they're already quite fancy. So it's probably easiest to replace the sidebar ones, I guess. Although the build status ones probably have a higher impact. Yep. But probably more work. So if I understand correctly, just for the minute, the, that you're saying that maybe the 488 by 48 icons could have a different upgrade path. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I agree with that. We don't have to do it uh, right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the sidebar icons make a lot of things much more clear. For example, the one, the new item one, some of them are pretty intuitive now. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, the new item one is now a plus sign. So that's much more intuitive. Yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. So there is no uh, item for run the build, etc. Because, yeah, the problem is not with items on their own, but with combinations of items. Uh, in Jenkins, we still have a side panel with uh, quite a number of items, sometimes a dozen of them. So, yeah, we need uh, to ensure that uh, any item will be quite distinguishable uh, from each other. Okay. So I don't anticipate much problems today, but it will uh, be definitely something to test uh, in the pull request. Sure. Yeah, to be, and for what it's worth, my pull request will be, the implementation will be just to throw away. It's just a POC probably needs a, will need a better solution because I'm not a Java guy, okay. <laughs> so. Well, speaking of that, uh, you will be unlikely able to just throw away the icons because uh, icons are resources and uh, due to implementation specifics uh, icons uh, can be used in plugins just by pass yeah yeah so, no definitely yeah. definitely what i was planning was on just mm -hmm. getting into the uh, l icon jelly helper and hijacking and hijack it and inside it detect if the class is for example for context for context the way many icons are set there is a jelly template uh, that if it receives a css clash class corresponding to the new item it will show this icon it will have different map based on the css class that it, rece it receives will map it to different icons so what i was planning to do is hijack that um, that jelly template to if the, for example, if I detect a new items uh, class, I will show this SVG instead. Yeah, so what you're describing is the icon shim engine, right? So these... I, I don't know, my POC, I, did, I just did it with if, if they, yeah. if they, It will if they, uh, cover a significant number of use cases. The problem is that uh, some plugins just use image tags injected by, gel, by Jelly, not to this framework, because this framework was also introduced in 2015, 2016, uh, and uh, all plugins before that, uh, they just inject images. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, anyway. Yeah, we can do it incrementally. I see no problem with that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh, go ahead, please. No, so I was just going to say that next step, I, I think it's created and once. Maybe create an item um, on the on our epic uh, on Jira. Create an entry for each icon type, and I upload the PR. So, Tim, Tim, also you were about to say something. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. All right. Um, I'll post these three screenshots to Gitter uh, in a few minutes. Um, I think that's it for today. Does anyone have anything else they want to raise? Just a kind reminder that it's Hacktoberfest. 
So it's a good time to contribute if you're interested in to any area and of course uh, to user experience UI as well. Messing up our desktop. Gotta register to get my tree. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Awesome. I think, um, sorry, just writing that down. I think that's it, y'all. Um, let's talk more and get her. And I guess we're good. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Good to see you. Have a good day. Bye. You too. Bye. 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 -bye.